Now, European economic growth is coming under pressure yet again. Now there is an increase in the levels of bad loans on the books of most European banks. The European Central Bank is scrambling for strategies to contain the damage, and Ireland may have just what they need. CCTV correspondent Lorda Sexton reports. Ireland suffered one of Europe's biggest banking crises, leading the government to bail out its banks at a cost of 64 billion euros. During the collapse, the country's debt skyrocketed. The debt to GDP ratio peaked at more than 125 percent. In order to manage the debt, the country set up a bad bank. So I think the scale of the problem was, you know, enormous. We paid the banks 32 billion for the 74 billion worth of loans. And uh, we set the objective of having a 10 year plan to have all our debt repaid by 2020. Uh, currently, we have 80% of our senior debt repaid, with a target of 100% repaid by 2018. And we're about two and a half years ahead of schedule at this stage. Ireland's debt to GDP ratio continues to fall. It's now well below 100%. There is renewed confidence in the economy here. It grew by 7.8% last year. Unemployment is down to 8.8% and the Irish banks have one of the lowest borrowing costs in Europe. In order to prevent another collapse, Ireland recapitalised its banks. And according to Ireland's finance minister, almost a third of the bailout funds have now been repaid. Ireland put in place policies that gave uh, banks time yeah, to find a solution to work out a solution yeah with the debtors with those yeah uh, the, you know the old old the bank's money uh, because banks were given time they could give time to the debtors um, and that made it possible and that made it possible an orderly recovery that wouldn't have been, that wouldn't have been possible otherwise given the inconclusive election results there is concern here that a political deadlock over a long period could impact on the government's borrowing costs from the markets Lourdes Sexton, CCTV, Dublin.